So, you just got yourself a brand new Quest 3. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe you're playing VR for quite some time now, but only just got into Beat Saber, whether it's on the Quest 3, Quest Pro, or Quest 2, or maybe even Quest 1. But it just isn't cutting it for you. After all, one of the biggest pluses of Beat Saber is its modding community. The fact that you can install thousands of completely modified customizable maps with your favorite songs just makes the game feel that much more satisfying. And you're in luck, as Beat Saber is fully moddable on a standalone. Yeah, you don't actually need a PC to run mods. And it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So, what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you how to modify the latest version of Beat Saber on your Quest 3, Quest 2, Quest Pro, or even Quest 1. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Oftentimes, what ends up happening is the latest version of Beat Saber on your Quest headset is actually not moddable. So you will first need to downgrade your version of Beat Saber before you can mod it. This is actually a lot easier than it seems, however some prerequisites will be required, as usual. First of all, you will need developer mode enabled. As to downgrade any app, install any APK, or connect to SideQuest on a computer, you do need that developer access. You do need to be able to run ADB commands. And this is actually really, really handy for any future mods that you might want to do, so I would recommend turning it on anyway. Second thing that you will require is some form of a computer running SideQuest. Quest. This is what's going to make this install so, so easy. Now that you've got SideQuest on your computer and developer mode enabled on your Quest, let's get to downloading the apps that you will need. First of all, you will need the paid version of Beat Saber. You do need to have purchased the application in order for this to work. Second thing, sign in to your Oculus account or your Meta account on your computer. You will need to have this done or else the downgraded version of the APK will not download. Thirdly, now you will want to go on to Oculus DB, which is the website that allows all of this to happen. In the top left here, search up for Beat Saber and then select version of Beat Saber right here. Press on details and once you've pressed on details, press on download latest moddable version. This will download the latest moddable version of Beat Saber that is moddable by BMBF. This is super handy as you don't actually need to search for that exact version yourself, it's just right there, making your life that little bit easier. Now that you've got that latest moddable version of Beat Saber downloaded onto your computer, it should have saved as an APK file. Fire up SideQuest and connect your Quest physically with a USB cable to your computer. It should show up in the top left of SideQuest right here. In case for whatever reason it doesn't, or it shows that it's unauthorized, you may need to accept a prompt inside your headset if this is your first time plugging the device in. Then, what you will want to do, once your Quest successfully shows up there and shows that it's connected, do keep in mind, this more than likely will reset your application. So in case you have any progress that you, for whatever reason, want to keep inside Beat Saber, you'll want to back up the app first. Press in the top right of SideQuest, right here, then find your current version of Beat Saber that you have installed on your Quest, and press Backup App Data. This will back up the app data, if you want to restore it later. Then you will want to press uninstall as you have to uninstall the latest version of Beat Saber in order to be able to downgrade or else a version mismatch will happen and it just won't work. Now that you've done that, press on the top right of SideQuest right here to install an APK file from a folder on your computer and then find that older version of Beat Saber that you've downloaded earlier. Double click on it and this will install the downgraded version of Beat Saber onto your quest. That's pretty much it. So the method is going to be a little bit different if you're using one of the older devices or the Quest 3. If you ask me, it's much easier on the older devices as you can do it on device. However, this is just the way it is for now. And I'm assuming in the future, there will be an update allowing BMBF to work on the Quest 3. So let's begin with the older devices. If you're using a Quest 2, Quest 1 or Quest Pro, you can feel free to use BMBF and follow along with this, you will want to search for BMBF inside SideQuest. Find this unicorn application and scroll down a little bit to press sideload. This will install BMBF from SideQuest 
onto your quest. This is the app that will allow you to make all of this happen. Now, your quest might complain already. If it isn't complaining already, it will definitely complain after you're done modding that this is an unofficial version of the app and isn't officially supported, blah, blah, blah. If you're not using it for development purposes, you should uninstall it. Nobody has ever gotten banned from modding Beat Saber yet. Now, with that out of the way, press on all your apps inside your headset then press on filter and go to unknown sources. And then once you're in there, you should see the BMBF application. Press on BMBF and go through the steps that it's going to show you right here. So the first thing BMBF is going to ask you to do is to give it access to all files. So you wanna tick this right here and then press the back arrow. Next, you must give BMBF access to the Android data or without it, it won't work. So you wanna press okay and then let it use the folder. Now you want to press on get started. This will start the process of patching Beat Saber. First, you're going to want to uninstall the vanilla version of Beat Saber and this will allow BMBF to create that APK in the background. The next step will be to patch that APK that BMBF just created. So you want to let it do that. This is going to take a while. Do stay in your headset, don't let it go to sleep, as that could ruin the process. If you have any issues installing the file in the next step, make sure multiple accounts and family sharing is disabled. You can enable it later on again when you have Beat Saber modded. However, if you have it enabled during this process, it can cause issues. So, once patching is complete, you're going to want to press on Install Modded Beat Saber. You're going to want to go into Settings, and then Allow from the Source. This will allow BMBF to install the modded version of Beat Saber. Scroll down again, press on Install Modded Beat Saber, and then press Install. This will install the modded version onto your device. Once this is done, BMBF will throw you into its main menu where you're going to want to press on Sync to Beat Saber. And then you should be able to launch the app right there from BMBF. Sometimes this doesn't work and all you want to do then is just go back to all your apps and launch Beat Saber like you would normally. So here we are in the Quest 3 part. You will require a computer for this. It is really easy though. After you've downgraded the Beat Saber application in the previous steps, you will now require Quest Patcher. Links will be down below to the GitHub page. You download it just by clicking right here and then install it by clicking on the downloaded file. This should fire up Quest Patcher on your computer. Now with the downgraded version of Beat Saber on your Quest, you can patch it using Quest Patcher. Just follow everything exactly as Quest Patcher would tell you to. Then once you have the app patched, you will need to install the core mods. To do this, follow the other link that I will have for you down in the description below and download all core mods for the latest moddable version, which is 1.28 right now. Then go into the mods tab in Quest Patcher and browse to find that core mods file. File. Double click on it and this will install all the Beat Saber core mods for you right there on your Quest 3. That's it, you're done. You can unplug your Quest 3 and now you have a modded version of Beat Saber right there. If however at any time you want to install any future mods, you will need to fire up Quest Patcher again and use that to install the mods. Same thing goes for if you ever want to install cosmetics, as BMBF does not currently work on the Quest 3. That's the only downside here. If you want to download songs however, the song browser is available to you in game. So that's a nice bonus. Okay, now that we've got those two methods out of the way, let me show you what firing up Beat Saber for the first time is going to be like once it's modded. First of all, the game might ask you to allow it access to files, or it might glitch out and kick you out the first time and then ask you to allow it access to all files. You will need to do this, as of course now it has the ability to download songs, so it needs permission to store those somewhere. Once you're done with that, you can feel free to press on the More Songs button, which should be appearing to your left now, download any songs you like, and play to your heart's content. Okay, now let's jump into Beat Saber and make sure that all of our mods are working. So when you launch the game and you look to your left, you should now see that there's additional menus for you to use, including more songs and things like that, allowing you to download songs right there inside the headset. Now that we know that everything is working, let's download a few modified songs, make sure they show up and try them out. So after you've done this, go into solo, press on custom songs, and here you go. All of your custom songs should be showing up and you should be able to play them just like you would 
any other Beat Saber song. There are other mods that you can install, including Beat Together, which will actually allow you to play modded songs together, multiplayer with other people, including on a computer, which is really, really cool. But I won't show you how to install those in today's video. That's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I could help you out. If you have any different methods that you use to modify Beat Saber, as I know that people have come up with quite a few in the past, do feel free to pop them down in the comments section below and let me know what mods you're using on your modded Beat Saber. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night and in case you guys need any help or just want to join the community and chat, we have a Discord and a Reddit down below. And thank you so so much to all the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys are incredible, seriously, much love. And thank you so, so much to anyone else supporting the channel in any way, shape, or form. I do apologize for being gone for the last few days. I think it's been like 10 days. I've been quite sick. You can probably still hear it in my voice. And it's not fully gone yet. But you know what? It's time we go back. So, as usual, if you guys want to be notified of fresh content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with you before I dig my bell. And see you again in the next video. Peace. So, our journey begins after walking for like 45 minutes in complete darkness. Is the door going to open now?